Alright, so in this video, we'll be looking at this problem. I have a construction company that receives an income at a rate of 10 e to the 0.1t uh, for 20 years. Um, this is a million of dollars per year and invest the money at an interest rate of 4% compounded continuously. Alright, first question. Um, what's the total amount that the company re receives? So how much money did the company receive in total? Alright, so we're talking about how much it receives, not how much it has in the bank, not how much interest. So this doesn't include interest, it's only capital. And that makes it the total um, money flow. And so our formula tells us to take the integral of the rate. That's it. So no e to the rt or e to the rt minus t or e to the r minus rt because we're not compounding interest here. Alright, so our function is over there, um, t is here, we have 20 years, so 20, um, 10, e to the 0.1t dt, so I'm going to integrate this. And I'm going to get 100, e to the 2 minus 100 e to the 0. So I'm getting 100. I'm sorry I didn't compute it, so let's compute it. So I'm getting e squared, so e squared minus 1, that's perfect, equal times 100, I'm getting 6, 3, 8, and uh, Nine zero five six zero nine eight nine. All right, so this is money. So usually I tell you to use two decimal, but the problem is this little sentence tells you that it's millions of dollars. So these are millions, millions of dollars. And so I'm going to give you more decimals than usual. So in fact, if I give you a question like that in what work, you should make sure to count as many decimals as you need to get to the cent. And in this case, that's what I did. And so I would it received six hundred and thirty-eight million nine hundred and five thousand. Uh, 905,609.89. Alright, so this is how much money it received in total. No interest whatsoever. Alright, so now let's get interesting, uh, interested in how much money it has, so let's compute with interest. So, how much money would they have in the account? In 20 years. So I cannot compute this only from this number because it depends on when the money came. If it all came early, then it would grow more interest. If it all came late, it would grow less. So I need to start over and reintegrate, but with the interest rate included. 
So 0 to 20. Actually, let me write the formula. So 0 to big T, um, F of T, the rate. And then this money is in the account for T minus T years. So this is what I want to compute. So I would get the integral from 0 to 20, um, 10 e to the 0, 1 t, e to the 0, what was the interest rate? Blah, 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 blah. 4%, so 0 0.0420 minus t. So let's simplify this before we compute. I'm going to take the 10 out. I'm going to have e, that 0.4 times 20, so that's 0 0.8. And then I have e to the 0 0.1 minus 0.04t dt. So that can come out as well. 10 e to the 0 0.8, that doesn't matter. Um, 0 to 20, let me put these together. e to the 0.06t dt. And so I'm getting e to the 0.06t divided by 0 0.06 from 0 to 20. I'm going to plug in 20. So that's 1.2 divided by 0 0.06. I'm going to plug in the 0, I get 1 over 0 0.06. Don't forget to plug in the 0, it actually isn't going to disappear in this case. So let me compare, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. And so what I would get, um, so first of all it should be more than this because this is capital only, I'm getting interest here. So I got um, 860.5. 585, um, 861, 74, blah, blah, blah. So this is in millions. So if I ask you how much, how many dollars, it will have 800, and sixty millions five hundred and eighty five thousand um, eight hundred and sixty one and seventy four dollars. All right, final question What is the present value? Oh, I could actually ask you for the interest as well, right? Once you have the total money and the future value, the difference between the two would be the interest. So that'd be a cool question. But now let's go with the future, uh, present value. All right, so we said, well, we have an integral for present value, but I don't want to use it because I've already computed the future value. So I'm going to use that as well instead. So present value, we said, was e to the minus r big T future values because I'm going back in time. So minus T, and um, that's e to the minus 0 0.04 times, yeah, times 20 future values over there, so you'd plug that in, and what I get, so first of all, this should be much less than this, right? I'm in 
this is how much I would have 20 years before having this. So it's going to be much less. In fact, it's 386.686153789 millions. Um, what may not do it, but if you had to write it, you would write it. Actually, let me do it. And so today it would be worth $386,686,153.79. So if you had to buy this money flow from the company, this is how much the fair price would be. If you pay less, you're probably making a good deal. If you pay more, then you're being a sucker.